In today's lesson, I wanted to talk to you about getting more power and killing the hips. So I think most golfers would agree we would like some extra power, some extra club head speed, hit the ball further. But I think most golfers would also agree that uh, they would probably sacrifice extra distance to have more consistency in their golf game. As it says in the thumbnail, kill the hips. Now, all I'm going to try and do is swing, doesn't matter whether this putter or a driver, it's exactly the same. What I'm trying to create is a backswing with no lower half movement. Kill the hips. Hips are gonna stay here. So I'll demonstrate this for you now. So as I swing back, no hips. Sort of feel like my hips are trying to move, but no legs, no hips. Keep it going, no legs, no hips. And as you can see, my legs have had to join in with proceedings there. Now I haven't consciously moved them. I've tried to restrict them very, very slightly. But the feeling to me there was that they did nothing. And when I look down, they've actually moved quite a lot. And that's because when we're trying to turn our upper half, it's pretty much physically impossible to turn correctly and fully without the lower half facilitating that. Let me do one more here. So pay attention here to how the legs are not moving. So if I take my normal setup, start my backswing, no legs, no hips, no legs, no hips, no legs, no hips, no legs, no hips. But you can see that my legs have joined in. But also what happens here, as I go back, what I'm creating is a head start with my upper half over my lower half and as I get sort of here my legs have got to move my hips have got to move as I continue up it feels like I haven't moved them but when I get to the top of the backswing now the legs have a head start on my upper half so when you practice this, the key things to look out for once you've adopted your good setup position is how far can I swing back without using any lower half action. And even when you feel like your lower half wants to join in, try to allow it to happen rather than physically push your legs into position. So let me just do this once more here. So no legs, no legs, no legs, no legs, and boom powerful powerful move and it's something that is consistent because it's a bigger pieces that you're using rather than trying to sort of joust with the club all the time anyway i hope you like the content i hope that's been helpful as ever remember to subscribe and i'll see you next time